Welcome. Today, we're going to look at a very important topic for tuba players, and that is how to tighten your drums. A lot of us have drums sitting on shelves, and they may be concert quality drums, but over time they start loosening up, or uh, with use, the, the pegs get on two straps and three straps and get hammered all the way down to the bottom, and they still aren't at the pitch that they were made for, and that's very important. So uh, how to get them back up to the proper pitch. And that's the topic of today's video. I went online and found some old YouTube footage that I did about 11 years ago. And I thought it was pretty good. So we're gonna use some of that footage and a few extra tips thrown in. So let's dive right in. Hi, I'm Ty Burho. I'm gonna show you how to pull the slack out of your drums in this video. When I'm on the road with Zakir Hussein, I will sometimes every single day either pull the slack out of his drums to get the heads at the right pitch, um, or put slack back into a drum if it's a very dry climate. For example, we get off the plane in Miami, and it's very humid, and the, the, the skin soaks up all the moisture, and the pitch drops on both the high drum and the low drum, to be able, especially when you're performing that same night, to be able to pull the slack out very quickly and get the drums back in tune is really important. And then the next day you get on a plane and you come to Denver, Colorado, and it's super dry, all the moisture evaporates from the skins and the pitch goes way up, it might go too high, especially that happens on the, on the bion, the low drum. So you want to be able to put the slack back into the drum uh, using pretty much the hook pliers and the latte. There's the set of four, okay, and it's already up on three. And the pegs are hammered quite a ways down the shell. At this point, like here's a good example, this peg here, if it goes any further, it's just not going to stay. It'll just pop back up and actually with a little pressure from the ring, if I have it on the downside, just a teeny bit, and it's just gonna do that. So you're gonna be tuning your drum constantly uh, when the pegs get this low. And uh, what we wanna do is take the pegs out, take the slack out, balance the drum, put the pegs back in, tune it up, and hopefully it'll sound really nice. So this is the knot we're gonna untie for now. So you get your needle nose pliers and undo the strap. All right, so the first step is to take out only two pegs. Now, the reason for only doing two is that we're gonna pull slack, the, all the slack that's now there from the pegs being removed. We're gonna pull that slack and make it taut the same way that it's still taut over here. If I was to take out all the pegs and then start pulling the slack, the slack over here would actually create too much room for the head to move and you would pull the head off center. And it also would be impossible to tune it properly. We want to keep the head as centered as possible. And the same thing with the ring down below and I'll show some um, fix it things if you have a too large of a ring but you don't want to re restring your entire drum there's some fixes for that so those two rings are important to keep centered the head most of all start from your original knot only two at a time okay so I'll do that one peg two pegs now we have all this slack here so I'm going to take our hook, okay, I'm going to grab a hold of, here's the knot down there. I'm going to grab a hold of the second strap over and pull a decent tension into this. Okay, next hold that strap with this hand, grab the next one and pull that tension out. Okay, grab that one, hold the slack. And this is basically the process you go through. Pull, pull, 
And you, as you get good at it, you can feel how much tension you're applying so that these are all fairly even now. Then take out the next peg, pop it out, pop it out, next two pegs, and continue. When I'm pulling the slack, not cluster where it goes around the bottom ring too much, too close together. I'm trying to keep a spacing on those as well, because if, if it gets too clustered together, it'll create extra tension. And in this case, that ring is a little big for the drum. Actually, you can see there's a lot of play available. So if, you, if that starts happening, it's going to pull the bottom ring out of round and actually have too much. So what that means is that the strap from here to the head will be shorter than over here. So we want to avoid that. Okay, and the last two pegs. Out and out. And voila. Okay, so we've gotten to the point now where we can pull the drum up here. And you can see all the slack that we got out of pulling the straps. However, at this point, the strap is going over the, in, the lower ring. We want it to go under the same way that this strap does. So I'm gonna pull this out making sure that the strap does not twist. Just trace it from here, make sure it's all flat. We can take our needle nose pliers, make a little space in there. And we get our strap through, grab it, pull it. Okay, at this point, we want this knot to reflect that knot. Going up underneath, back through, and that direction away from the knots, okay? It makes a very clean, um, very clean knot. It's very easy to work with in the future. So I'm going to pull this through, and then I'm going to go back through underneath that knot and away from this one. So now you have a nice kind of a reflection of the knots there. And now if I just leave this like that and start putting the pegs in, I'm gonna end up with a lot of extra slack here and the head's not gonna be able to get in balance. So what I'm gonna do is crank through on this knot, but try to get as much slack out of here as I can. Lock that in with my thumb. Now I'm gonna crank this knot through. This is where needle nose pliers is pretty much critical. Okay, now grab my hammer and while I have tension on this knot, I'm going to just flatten it out slightly. That'll kind of lock it into place. Okay, so now we're good all the way around. It doesn't have to be underneath every uh, of the straps here. It can, it can be every other one, every two or three. The basic idea is you want to just get it to be out of the way. You don't want it to be catching on your rings as you turn it. All right, so I've gone a little past the knots, so that's a decent amount. And you want to make sure that this is not, that little bit there isn't hanging out because that'll definitely catch on the rings and um, cause havoc. There you go. Stage number two, we're all tied off. We have pretty even tension on the straps all the way around. And now we're going to go ahead and start at the original knot, not at the new knot, because we don't want to uh, pull any potential slack into the drum. Take the first four, let me show you that. There's the knot, one, two, three, four. Four straps. 
Okay. Grab a peg and your hook and out of the four straps, the center two are the key two straps to use for the initial putting in of the peg. One, as you can see from the top, is from over the braid. One, it comes from underneath. We're gonna take the underneath one. There's the set of four. One, two, three, four. We're gonna pull on number two strap and pop the peg under, okay? And just put it up so that it traces the four pegs. You can keep track of it that way. So it's the under strap, all right? Now we're gonna skip a set of four and go to the next set of four so that this, the tension is distributed nicely. Right, so then I'm gonna center that one. There's my four, there's the next four, and the next four, okay? Next one, there's the next set of four, and the next set of four. Okay. Now we've done every other one. Now I'll just start filling it in. Okay, there you go. There's the initial series of pegs and the first strap, which is the uh, under of the inner two. <laughs> okay. All right, that's very nice. At this point, the drum is pretty much ready to play. Now, if I was gonna be going for a higher note than it is right now, um, and the head probably can afford to go up another pitch or so, pitch and a half, you can feel that with the tension in the head, it's not too stressed out. All right, start from your original knot. This your first set of four. Okay. Pull. And this time, I'm just gonna go around one at a time because basically the head is stable. Okay, I'm doing the same process of the thumb goes underneath, okay? And you, you're coming up on the curved edge of the peg. Okay, there you have it. Pulling the slack out of your drum. And it's a process every tuple player should know. I hope that was useful. And it's one of those skills that the more you do, the quicker you get at it, the better you get at it. And it's just going to make such a big difference in the sound of your instrument. So, I'll see you next time.